So they took the, they took the Chinese Chuanfa and they turned it into Kempo, what they call Kempo or fist law. From there, it evolved into karate. And the way it did was there was an Okinawan man named Gichin Funakoshi who traveled to Japan and demonstrated some of this Kempo, some of this uh, Okinawan fighting to the Japanese, and they really liked it. And of course, the Japanese, they had the samurai, and they jujitsu, judo, and they were impressed with this new style. The Okinawans started calling it karate, which in that meant China hand. That was what the character that they used was called China hand, to show that it came from China. Well, Gichin Funakoshi brought it to Japan. The Japanese, you know, like to think that they invented everything. So to help boost their ego, Gichin Funakoshi changed the actual character. But it's the same pronunciation, so it's still karate, but he changed it to meaning empty hand or without weapons. And the Japanese took Gichin Funakoshi's style, which he named Shotokan, and they've, they adapted that for their own culture. And so you'll see variations on Japanese karate that's different from Okinawans. Japanese karate is very deep with their stances, very tough, like to punch very low. Whereas the Okinawans, traditionally, it's, it's a narrower stance because, like I said, a lot of sand, you can't get good footwork when you're di this deep in loose sand. You want to stay, stay high and mobile. So that's just one basic differentiation between the Japanese and the Okinawans. They also have variations on their forms, or kata, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But that's a basic history. From Japan, it came to the United States through World War II. You know, the GIs that were stationed over there, once we beat Japan, they stayed over there as occupiers. They started to pick up this. They started to get to learn it, in Okinawan especially. There's a lot of marine bases down in Okinawa. And so the Marines, they come back to the United States, they open up schools out here, and next thing you know it spreads. Bruce Lee helped to popularize martial arts all over the world, and from there it just exploded. And now it seems like there's thousands and thousands of different styles.